CD from Germany. Um, Chef, if someone's making da'wah to some, so to some of his family or his friends or someone else, and he's advising them, reminding them, warns them from the punish of, punishment of, from Allah Azza wa Jal, but these people, they respond that it is none of his business, or they respond that it is between them and Allah. How should we respond to that response? By simply saying, okay, and stopping. See, you are not obliged in Islam to shove things down people's throats. You can always lead a horse to the river. You can never force the horse to drink. Allah says in the Quran, لَيْسَ عَلَيْكَ هُدَاهُمْ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ يَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاء It is not up to you, Muhammad, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to guide people. Rather, guidance is in the hands of Allah. So, all what you can do is present your case. Give them advice, remind them of Allah, show them an ayah, show them a hadith. If they are defiant, if they are not inclined to listen and they don't want to listen, quote unquote, the hell with them. I did my duty and I tried my level best to bring them closer to Allah and they don't want to. I would utilize my time and effort with other people who would listen. So if I did this with all of my family and they don't want to listen, I'll go somewhere else. I go to the neighbors, I go to the masjid next door, I go to the community, I go online. I utilize my time with people who are thirsty for truth and knowledge rather than these ignorant imbeciles who are so indulged in these swamps of worldly matters. All what they care about is their desires and lusts and gaining money. Let them be. I did my due diligence, I did my level best to call them with fair preaching and wisdom. They don't want to listen. So should I force them under gunpoint? Of course not. So let them be and move on.